Now to your school watch. And next month, every student in School District 20 from third grade up will receive a new district provided device for e learning. Now, the district notified parents this week of the technology purchase. Randy Cohen live tonight to tell us more about the program and why some families have concerns about this. Andy, what'd you find out? Well, yeah, Rob, uh, families are going to have to pay an annual $50 support fee per student, and that money is to help in case these devices get lost, stolen, or damaged. You can split it up into $25 payments each semester, but for some families, it's tough to hear, especially after they spent thousands buying devices to support remote learning for their kids last year. Like many families, Lisa Morgan's living room turned into a classroom for her three kids last year. We figured it would be a good investment to just go ahead and get them. They can use them for years to come. It cost about $2,000 to buy all three laptops, but like she said, she saw it as an investment. I know a lot of people purchased personal computers last year as it was encouraged by the district to you know, if you could help out in that way, and it wasn't until later in the year where more became available and they were saying, hey, now they're available, but that's when we were well into the year. On Wednesday, the district emailed parents notifying them that they would be providing every student with a district-owned device for this upcoming school year. The board voted in April to spend $4 million in COVID relief funds buying the devices. It's very frustrating as a parent to get that um, email and get that demand that you pay this, <laughs> you know, that there is just like, there is no communication about it, no discussion about it, this is how it is. Under district policy, Lisa can still send her kids to school with their personal devices, but that $50 fee per student is mandatory. The district is cautioning parents that if students bring devices from home, they won't be able to use them for assessments or to connect to the printers at school. And if your family qualifies for the federal free or reduced lunch program, uh, then you won't have to pay that $50 fee. And even if you don't qualify, you can still ask your principal or speak with administrators here at the district administration office, asking them for a hardship waiver. Always watching out for you. Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thanks.